Hello everyone, today I will show you how to do a direct input in a Z table to update some information and uh, I want to emphasize that you don't have to do this procedure in a standard table. You may disrupt the account importing using this procedure in a standard table, okay? Let's see how to use SCE16N underscore interface. This is a functional model to perform this direct input, right? Uh, over here, we have the functional model SCE16N underscore interface. Uh, enter here in tab the Z students table. This is a table that I have selected in this environment. Uh, uh, assign X in edit field. Uh, this is edit field is to enable this interface to update the table. Uh, remember to remove the maximum lines. Here I have assigned zero. In the output list, we have a lot of records in the table. Uh, if you want to filter this record, select uh, some column here and uh, choose the tool related to filter. Okay, here I'm filtering by Fabio name. Uh, okay, I will select the first record to change the last name, Junior by De Mello. Okay, um, after this point, I will save. A pop-up appear displaying the changed rows number. This is one rows only, but you can do it using a mass record mass fields you can perform these direct updates uh, no table if you want okay uh, now uh, we are going to check in ec16 in the students table i will select by the last name okay here was the record that i have updated uh, remember the direct input in a table could be understood as a dirty trick in SAP. And uh, it's important to understand this functionality. This is important in some procedures, in some uh, uh, custom reports execution. And uh, by the way, it's most important to understand as a governance. You have to understand this to improve your governance in your sustain of our current SAP installation, right? Okay, use this, this is very important, and use this in the right way. Thank you for watching.